Hi everybody, welcome once again to, on this Monday morning to my living room for story time. Uh, for those of you that don't know, my name is Ellie and as usual I am very very happy to be here with you guys today. I hope you're having a great morning and I think we should probably get started by saying or singing I mean hello. So we're gonna get our ukulele. If you guys have instruments at home, it might be fun if you play along, as long as playing instruments isn't going to disrupt anyone in your home. We are going to go ahead and sing some hello. Ready? singing, very good listening, very good playing along, if you're playing along at home, just very good in general, you guys. All right, I'm going to put our ukulele away, and as I'm sure we all know by now, we are not done saying hello yet. We are going to do some bread and butter. So if you have your hands, you can wiggle them like this to get ready to say hello a lot of times. Ready? And we're gonna make our beat. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as fast as we can. Ooh, good. Can you do it again? Very nice. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as slow as we can. Hello. Also very good. All right, next we're gonna say hello as loud as we can. Hello to the ceiling, all right? Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as high as we can. Hello! Get your arms way up in the air to say hello. And next is low. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as low as we can. Hello, hello floor, hello feet, hello puppets that I have on the floor. Don't worry about those, hello. This next one is a very, very fun one. We're gonna say hello as loud as we can, but as usual, if there are people working or sleeping or talking on the phone or doing something that you maybe shouldn't be saying hello as loud as you can during, maybe just say hello as loud as the situation calls for, okay? For example, I have someone doing something in my house that I shouldn't be screaming during. So I'm not going to say hello as loud as I can. But I am still going to be a little bit loud, okay? Ready? Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as loud as we can. Hello! Hello, hello, hello! Good. Do you think I could be louder than that? I do. But it's really important to be mindful of the people around you. That's why I was like that. But for our last one, we're gonna be hello. Or we're gonna be hello. <laughs> we're gonna say hello as quiet as we can. We're gonna do the whole thing quiet. And you can do that no matter what anyone's doing in your house. So I'm gonna be very quiet. Ready? 
bread in butter or maybe jam. I say a lot. Ask why it has me do it. What? Hello. Good job, you guys. All right. Now that we have said all of our hellos, we can go ahead and do some stories and figure out what our stories are about. So, we're gonna guess what our stories are about, but we're gonna get a little hint by seeing what letter was mailed to us. So to up and open up our mailbox, we're gonna say our ABCs all together. Ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T U V W X Y and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? I wonder what letter got mailed to me. Let's open up our mailbox so we can see. Let's see. Oh, it's a good one, you guys. We have a great letter today. We have a B. And we've done a B for story time before, haven't we? But it, we, I think we did it for bugs. But we have a different B word. What other words do we know that start with B? How about binoculars and biology and bunnies? and baby and the word that our stories are about books we have all stories about books today we have stories about stories which is wacky if you think about it it's pretty hard but you don't have to so we have all stories about books today and the first story I am going to tell you is about a bunch of farm animals. So, once upon a time, there were a bunch of animals on the farm. There was chicken, and there was sheep, and there was a proportionately tiny pig, and there was a proportionately also tiny, I guess, in comparison, horse. And all these farm animals loved playing with all the kids when the kids were done with school. The animals loved to play and play and play all day long. They would run around the farm and play tag and hide go seek. But when it was time for the kids to go to school, all of the animals were so bored. They had nothing to do. They had nothing to do at all. So, one day, horse said, you know what? I have an idea. Since we are so bored, we should get some books to read. But there was a problem. These animals didn't have any books. Their shelves were empty, but Chicken said, oh, we don't have books, but I know a place that does. So all of the animals got ready and they all went walking and they went to a place that has so many books. They went to the library. Oh, imagine that. They went to the library and before they got to the doors of the library, the horse said, Wait! Whoa! We all can't go into the library. We're animals! It would cause a commotion if a horse, a sheep, a pig, and a chicken all walked into the library. How absurd is that? I will go in and I will get our books for us. So Horse trotted into the library. I'm going to set down these friends over here. Horse trotted into the library and walked right up to the desk and said, excuse me, to 
the librarian that was sitting there. And Horace said, excuse me, can you please get us some books? Now, that's a pretty reasonable request, right? Hey. But, unfortunately, the librarian didn't speak horse. And Google Translate doesn't translate horse. And she didn't know anyone that spoke horse. Besides, I guess this horse. So when the horse said, may we have books, please? All the librarian heard was, nay, 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 nay. And the librarian said, oh, I'm sorry, horse, but I don't know how to help you. I don't, I don't know what you want. And the horse went, nay and walked back out of the library. When the horse got back to her friends, she said, the woman at the desk didn't understand me. She didn't speak horse. Oh, maybe someone else can try. And that was when Sheep said, I'll give it a go. So Sheep marched on into the library and went right up to the desk and said, excuse me. May we have some books, please? <sighs> now, the woman at the desk, she didn't speak horse. We know this. Do you think she spoke sheep? I don't think she did either. The woman said, well, so when the sheep said, may we have some books, please? All the librarian heard was, Ba 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 ba. And the librarian said, "I'm so sorry, sheep. I don't know how to help you. I don't know what you're asking me. I don't have any books on sheep translation to help." So sheep said, "Ba," and walked back out of the library. Sheep got back and said, "You guys, she didn't understand me either." And that was when Pig, our teeny tiny pig, our baby little piglet, said, oh, I can do it. And Pig waddled into the library and marched up to the desk and said, excuse me, may we have some books, please? Do you know what happened? Well, the librarian looked at the pig and said, what? And the pig said, may we have some books, please? But all the librarian heard was, oink, 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 oink. She said, I'm sorry, pig. I don't know what you're saying. I'm sorry, I wish I could help you, but I can't. And pig went, oink. <laughs> and pig walked out. And I'm sure the librarian didn't feel great either, because... So far, she was 0 for 3 as far as helping people goes. Or animals, I guess, goes. So Pig walked back and said, Oh, she didn't understand me either. Oh, I just love books. And that was when Chicken said, You guys, I got this. And all the other animals said, Chicken? She didn't understand any of us. What are the chances she's going to speak chicken? But chicken said, I have a plan. So chicken marched on up to the desk and said, excuse me, may we have some books? Books, books, books. And the librarian heard, And she said, oh, you want books? Oh, you want books? And she said, book, 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 book. And the librarian said, oh, of course. And the librarian gathered up a bunch of books and gave them to the chicken. And I guess didn't worry about getting the chicken a library card or anything. But it's fine. <laughs> and... Chicken walked out of the library with the stack of books and gave them to the friends. And they all walked back to the farm together. And at the 
farm. They all sat down and read, and they were loving all of their books, with the exception of one animal on the frog, or on the farm. It was frog. Every book that they gave to frog, frog would just look at them and say, read it, read it, read it, the end. Very good listening, you guys. That book or that story had some pretty high quality jokes in it. It's one of my favorites. I hope you liked it. All right. So we are going to tell some stories of our own with this little song we're going to do. Um, and with the stories that we're telling you, we're going to bake them all into, hmm, let's say a cake. We're making a story cake. This little dance is called Stir It Up. So you can follow along with me. We're going to take our hands and we're going to like this. Stir it up, stir it up. Push it, push it, push it, push it. Jump, baby, jump. Baby, monkey, 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 monkey. Now, the other part of the song is we are going to say some nursery rhymes. And when I go like this, you guys say, what? All right. So here we go. We're going to start by stirring it up. Stir it up, stir it up. Push it, push it, push it, push it. Jump, baby, jump. Baby, monkey, 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 monkey. So the first nursery rhyme we're going to mix into this cake is probably going to be Jack and Jill. Ready? Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown. And Jill said, what? Stir it up, stir it up. Push it, push it, push it, push it. Jump, baby, jump. Baby monkey, 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 monkey. Very good. Next we'll go, hmm, Humpty Dumpty. Ready? Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men said, What? Stir it up, stir it up. Push it, push it, push it, push it. Jump, baby, jump. Baby monkey, 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 monkey. And for our last one, let's switch things up a bit and do Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. I hope you know this one. Ready? Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky, saying, what? Stir it up, stir it up, push it, push it, push it, push it, jump, baby, jump, baby, monkey, 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 monkey. Good job. All right. So, so I have two more stories to get through before we're done with story time. So this one I'm going to read to you. It is by Mo Willems, who is a very talented person. Uh, and one of my favorites, I love Mullalum so much. This is Big Frog Can't Fit In. So, oh, uh oh, poor Big Frog. She can't fit in this book. Oh, she's so upset. If only she were smaller, meep, then she'd be happy. Or more bendable, then she could fit. Oh, big frog can't stand it. But her friends have an idea. <gasps> Me, look at all these little friends. They're gonna help her. Oh. Oh. 
Get some help. And lots of it. Lots of little friends coming to help. And build a bigger book. Yay for friends. Look, they helped her fit into this big old book. They made this big book even bigger. And then the problem with all pop-up books is to get it back together. The end. That is Big Frog Can't Fit In. And the book itself is pretty big, so she's a very big girl. <laughs> all right. For our next little song, we are going to do some how about wheels on the bus? So, we're going to start with our arms. Ready? The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. Swish, 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 the wipers on the bus go swish, 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 all through the town. The doors on the bus go open and shut, open and shut, open and shut. The doors on the bus go open and shut, all through the town. Last one, let's say the people on the bus go up and down, up and down, up and down. The people on the bus go up and down all through the town. We'll do wheels to wrap it all up. The wheels on the bus go round and round, faster round and round, faster round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. Woo! Good job. All right, very good job, you guys. We have one more story left. I'm gonna get a quick little drink of water though. Don't mind me. If you need to take a water break, now is your time. Or snack break, if you're eating snacks. All right. So, our last story for story time today is called The Story. And this is a story that comes from a Frog and Toad book. Do you guys know who Frog and Toad are? I've done a couple of their stories over my living room story times. But Frog and Toad are, me, two best friends. And they have all sorts of stories together. And this story is about one day. Hold on, we have to get Frog all ready. Ugh. There we go. Can you see him? Yes. So one day, Toad went to go visit his good friend, Frog. And he walked to Frog's house and knocked on the door. He said, Frog! Oh, frog! And from inside the house, there was a very faint, come in. So Toad scurried and saw Frog in bed, all wrapped up. And Frog said, or Toad said, Frog! Oh my, you look green! Well, greener than usual. What's wrong? And Frog said, Oh, Toad, I'm sick. I don't feel good at all, and I can't sleep. I'm too sick to read my books. Will you maybe tell me a story to help me get to sleep? And Frog said, tell you a story? Well, I'm sure I can. Um, 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 um. And the more and more Toad thought, the less and less he could think of a story. He said, oh no, Frog, I can't think of a story, but don't worry, I will. I will go outside and I will think of a story. So Toad went outside and he said, hmm, what can I do to help me think of a story? And he said, oh, I know, I will walk up and I will walk down. So Toad walked up and down and up and down and he still couldn't think of a story. He said, oh, walking up and down isn't working. 
I know. I'll stand on my head. <gasps> oh. And he stood on his head for a very long time. And he still couldn't think of a story. Then he said, oh, I know what I'll do. I will hit my head until I think of a story. And he hit his head. He said, oh, oh, oh no, that didn't help me think of a story at all. Now my head just hurts. And then Toad said, oh, I know what I can do to think of a story. I will take some water and pour it on my head. Oh. But that didn't help him think of a story. It just made him all wet. And Toad went back in and said, Frog, I'm so sorry. I tried to think of a story and I just couldn't think of anything. I did everything. I walked up and down, I stood on my head, I hit my head and I poured water all over my mouth and no story came to mind. Oh, and now I feel kind of funny. Oh. And Frog looked at his friend and said, Toad, you're not looking very good. Now you're looking kind of green and you shouldn't be looking green at all. Why don't you lay down for a minute and I'll tell you a story. So Toad got all snuggled in bed. And Frog said, all right, are you snuggled in? And Toad's like, yes, I still don't feel very good. And Frog said, all right, Toad. Once upon a time, there were two very best friends. And one of the friends wasn't feeling good. So his best friend did all sorts of things to help him go to sleep. He tried to think of a story to tell his sick friend. Now. He tried walking up and down and up and down, and he still couldn't think of a story. Then he tried standing on his head, and he still couldn't think of a story. Then he tried hitting his head against the wall, and he still couldn't think of a story. Then he even went as far as Poured water on his head. And he, well, still couldn't think of a story. He just got all wet. But you know what? His sick friend saw all the stuff that he was doing to try to make his friend feel better. And all that, knowing that his friend cared that much, made him feel better. The end. And as Frog he looked at Toad, and Toad was fast asleep. And Frog said, good night, Toad. And Frog went off. The end. That was the story by Frog and Toad. And now these puppets are all wet. <laughs> so I'm gonna put them over there. <laughs> all right. Those are all the stories I have for you guys. So we have one more thing to do today. We of course are finishing our story time with some Knees Up Mother Brown. Now, if you don't know how Knees Up Mother Brown works, I will tell you. When our little chicken friend is up in the air, we are sitting down. But when our little chicken comes down and jumps up and down and dance, we get to jump up and down and dance too, okay? Ready? We're gonna start with the girl from France. There was a girl from France who didn't know how to dance. The only thing that she could do was knees up Mother Brown. Oh, knees up Mother Brown. Knees up Mother Brown. Knees up, knees up, never let them freeze up. Knees up Mother Brown. Sit back down. 
Toad told a story to his friend, and he put himself to sleep in the end. The only other thing that he could do was knees up, Mother Brown. Oh, knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, knees up, now run, freeze up, knees up, Mother Brown. Sit back down. The chicken said, fuck, 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 and got her friend some books. The only other thing that she could do was knees up, Mother Brown. Oh, knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, knees up, now run, freeze up, knees up, Mother Brown. Sit back down for our very last one. We're going to try to make this little chicken do a handstand. Do you guys think we can do it today? I hope so. I usually don't do it. <laughs> I need to practice. All right, here we go. There was a teeny tiny man who loved to do handstands. Oh, no! I wasn't even close. The only other thing that he could do was knees up, Mother Brown. Oh, knees up, Mother Brown. Yippee! Knees up, Mother Brown. Ooh -wee. Knees up, knees up. Now run, freeze up. Knees up, Mother Brown. Extra fast! Knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, Mother Brown. Knees up, knees up. Now run, freeze up. Knees up, Mother Brown. Good job, you guys. We are going to. Wiggle. Oh, I guess before we wiggle, wiggle our fingers, I want to say thank you. Thank you all for being such good listeners during all of these story times. And for those of you that have said nice things about the library and all of my other friends and our story times, we love doing this for you guys. If you like our story times, feel free to like our videos. If you want to get the little notice when story times are happening, feel free to subscribe to the Ann Arbor District Library YouTube channel. Um, yeah, thank you. Thanks for listening. I'm trusting you guys were good listeners as usual. So we are going to wiggle, wiggle our fingers way up to the sky. Wiggle, wiggle fingers. Wave them all goodbye. Thank you, you guys. Bye.